Now, uh, because Mar in here, it's impossible from Martimore, who's in charming of all with her beauty and her dancing and her playing. And she's making a video of this now, that she's sending a link to our great friends, Mike O'Shea and his daughter Tammy, who are out wining and dining in Baltimore this very minute as we speak. It's about a quarter. He made me do this. So, so Mike and Tammy. We remember the great day when we were there at the opening of your new pub with Ned O'Shea from the Merchant Inn here in Dublin, the famous name, and a whole gang of musicians. Ah, on, so, you know, have a good night and we'll sing you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right. I have come from Coat Hill, which I never deny. I had an outbreak and I died for his sake. That big grandmother left me and she gone to die. Well, the dear little fellow, his legs they were yellow. He could fly like a swallow and swim like a hen. Tell some dirty owl savage to grace his white cabbage, most wantonly murdered, then flattered his way. Now his neck, it was green and most fit to be seen. He was fit for the queen of the highest degree. His body was white and it would do delight. He was plump, fat and heavy and brisk as a beast. He was wholesome and sound. He won't weigh 20 pound. And the universe round I would roam for his sake. Bad wind to the robber, be he drunk or sober, that wantonly murdered my beauty for trade. Well, may he speak, never dig, may he sow, never peep, may his knit and his wig be as large as a snail. May his door never latch, may his roof have no touch, may his turkeys not hatch, may the rat take his mail. May every old fairy from court to noon dairy dip him snug and dairy in river or lake. Where the eel and the trout may they dine on the snout of the monster and mortal they found his well, may his pig never grunt, may his cat never hunt, may a ghost ever haunt him at dead of the night. May his hens never lay, may his ass never play, may his goat fly away like an old paper kite. That the flies and the fleas may the wretch ever tease, may the piercing march breeze make him shiver and shake. May a lump of a stick that dries, bumps fast and teeth, on the monster that murdered and found his well, may he dog yet and growl with the hunger and cold. May his wife on the scout till his flame goes astray. May the corpse of each hag who wear caddy the bag go to light on the wag till his beard turns grey. May we monkeys still fight him, and mad apes still slight him, and everyone bite him asleep or awake. May weasels still gnaw him, and jackdaws still saw him, the monster that mother tells out his way. 
Well, may his pipe never smoke, may his teapot be broke, and to add to the joke, may his kettle ne'er boil. May he ne'er rest in bed till the hour he is dead. May he always be fed on love's house and fish eyes. May he swell with the gout till he grind his father out. May he roar and shout with a holler to him. May his temples wear horns and all his toes comes. Remarks of that marvel then the now the only good news which I have to infuse is that long Pather Hughes and Blind Piper McPeak. That big nose Bob Manson and Bob Tooted Bob Hanson. Each man has a grandson of my darling Drake. From my treasure had dozens of nephews and cousins, and one I must get or my poor heart will break. For to make my mind easy, or else I'll run crazy, there ends a sad tale of...